So there is also a practice tool which I developed when I was at this uh, uh, school. I was teaching digital logic and design labs specifically for, uh, I developed this tool for letting students practice with the number systems. It's a very handy tool, especially you will soon realize that number systems are very important and uh, initially it is uh, difficult to deal with. So this tool I developed for helping not only students but also for the instructors. Actually, you can download it for the Windows operating system. I'll probably be releasing for Mac OS as well. So what you do is it will give you, after you provide your details, it will give you uh, this kind of a screen. You are given a sheet, which I will be giving you. You can practice with it. Uh, first of all, you try to find out the answers yourself, and then you can check it here. So this tool actually imposes a student to either practice for at least 25 minutes or whatever the time instructor specify, or a certain number of questions. Once the number of questions are attempted, so for example, instead of 25 minutes, you completed the uh, 25 questions, for example, in 10 minutes, you can proceed ahead further. So once you complete, once you are done with the practice, you're given a set of exercises. So here in this first exercise, you're given a number in a specific format, let's say 333 hex, and you're supposed to be providing its binary equivalent. So you can provide the binary equivalent by just tapping this, uh, I mean, the LED to turn it one or to zero. And once you, once you provide the answer, you, you click on the check, it will check wh whether you are, uh, your provided answer is correct or not. Okay, there is a simple calculator for addition. Again, remember that the calculators will not be allowed in your exam. So make sure that you keep on practicing with simple additions. So in this tool, that's why I just uh, provided a simple adder to help with. The next one is you are given a binary pattern and you are supposed to be converting into a number in a specified format. So for example, this binary pattern, it asks you to convert it into a decimal value. So you provide the value, so it's here 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So 128 plus 32 plus uh, 16 plus this. So you, 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 use, you can use a simple adder and check your answer. And the good thing about it is that um, it randomly generates the questions. Okay, it randomly generates the questions and also verifies the answer. In the end, it generates a report for instructors, what questions were attempted by students, what, uh, how many were corrected, and what was the answer, exact answer, and what is supposed to be the answer. So this is available to download from, uh, for Windows OS. I will try my best to try to release uh, the Mac OS version uh, probably this week. Uh, the only thing is the aesthetics will be different if I do not make it correct. Otherwise, everything is same. The code is same. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you very much.